Hello everyone, welcome back to the Frankie Fix channel and on this channel we do a bunch of things. We're going to be branching off and doing a bunch of things. One of those things are reviews and today we're going to review this Mr. Heater because in the north it is very cold now and we need to heat our garages if you're going to work in your garage. If you're looking for a heater and you're looking for a possibility for a heater, this might be the video for you, so stick around. Okay, so today we have this Mr. Heater. Um, it's a model MH60 CFAV portable propane heater. It's a variable 30,000 to 60,000 BTU heater. Uh, it heats up to 1,500 square feet. The hose and the regulator is included. And it is a continuous ignition system, so you're going to constantly hear that sparking, which adds a little bit to the noise of it, but it's not horrible. Um, this will operate with uh, several different size tanks, depending on what you want to do. Uh, 30,000 BTU an hour, you're going to get uh, 14 hours from a 20-pound tank. You'll get 28 hours from a 40-pound tank, 72 hours from a 100-pound tank. And for the 60,000 BTU setting, you're going to get 7 hours from a 20-pound tank. 40 pound tank you'll get 14 hours, 100 pound tank you'll get 36 hours. Now it does come with a one year warranty, I haven't had any problems with it. I've had it for uh, over a year now. It's been very good last winter and uh, it's going to be very good this winter. So let's get into the operation of it. Okay so here's the back side of it. You can see the fan here and this draws in the air. Um, it's not extremely loud but it, it does have some noise to it. You know, it, it, there's nothing you can do about that. There's a trade-off. You either want to be warm or you're going to have to deal with the noise. But it's not horrible. Uh, so that's the back side of the unit uh, with the fan. Now on the front here of the unit, you're going to see a little knob. And that's going to allow you to adjust the angle. You can lower and, and heighten uh, the heater, which is nice. Um, so you just loosen this up and you can bring it up and bring it down. Okay, so I'll go through the procedure of how I usually start this thing up. And, uh, you know, my garage is a standard two car garage. It helps a lot. I do have another heater I'm going to do a review on. It's a natural gas heater that I kind of work in conjunction with this. Uh, but it, it's been a great heater so far for me. Um, also, when I bring the snow blowers in in the winter, I warm it up in here. It helps me to melt everything off of the snow blowers. But I'm going to get started here. I'm just going to turn this knob on and get that gas flowing. Since I have a power strip, I'm just going to go ahead and turn the power strip on. So as you can see, it's a pretty simple operation. You know, there is a little noise to it. Uh, you got to get used to that. It's not horribly loud. Um, it does last quite a long time. Like I said, what I usually do is I'll, I'll weigh the tank with a standard scale when it's empty. And when they fill it up, I'll uh, measure the weight. 
and it kind of gives me an idea of what I'm using and I can weigh it as I go along and uh, see what I'm using on it. But it's been a very good heater. Uh, so far, I haven't had any issues with it. Um, I hope the video helped you out in maybe uh, deciding what you want. I know that Harbor Freight has a Bauer model that is very similar to this model. It's a 30,000, 60,000. Um, I think on the front of it, though, it has some kind of guard. And I'm not sure if that's to block the the carbon buildup because you're going to get a carbon buildup in here and it's going to fly out uh, and you'll get like ambers once in a while so you got to kind of keep an eye on it and don't put it near anything flammable obviously uh, if you have a couch in your garage don't put it you know real close to the couch it's common sense stuff but this is the Mr. Heater 30,000-60,000 BTU um, and I hope this video was uh, helpful to you like and subscribe. I appreciate the current subscribers and uh, we'll see you next time.